little while ago, there was this clip that was going around of of Joe Rogan talking about paternity leave. Did you watch this? Do you know? Do you know what I'm talking about? Okay, Mm-mm. good, good. That's that's very good. You should be like <laughs> not like hyper aware of all of this nonsense when it's happening. But uh, even though you were nice enough to come on the show, I'm going to subject you to it. So uh, let's uh, right. okay. let's 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 watch that a- clip. A highlight I can do. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm and I'm questioning what who do you believe should pay for something like I that? I don't know, but if I was an employer and I had a guy you who worked for me, I had a guy who worked for me who wanted to take three months off because his wife gave birth, I'd be like, What the fuck are you talking about, Mike? <laughs> Even Mike, to support his did wife? You give birth to support his wife while I pay him for free. <laughs> do you understand that this is kinda of, most people when this happens? If they make enough money, the wife will not work and the father will work. Right. And then the wife takes care of the child. And this is normal. Yeah. And then the dad provides support when he comes home. If you're saying that the man and the woman should both get like three months off, this is a new thing. Yeah. Right. I mean, it's not new in Europe, but we're not in Europe. (laughs) This is better. (laughs) This is America. (laughs) Yeah. No lunchtime either. That's a European thing. Like, what are we doing here? Yeah. <laughs> no, absolutely. That that is. These are the top things that make me proud of America. That uh, that you know we don't have paid paternity leave. You know, people people can't take as many breaks. You know, they don't get vacations to spend time with their families. Uh, these these things all make me feel very proud. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Uh, okay, so so you have that clip where Rogan is saying something really stupid. Uh, he is um, he's taking a right wing position. You know, we shouldn't have paid paternity mm-hmm. leave. He's making a terrible argument for it. And so at the time that this happened, you think he would be he would be like for more benefits for men if he's like in the MRA sphere a little bit. Like men don't get anything. I mean, they get yeah, nothing. On, that's, that's divorces. Not... Like this is at least get a few days off if you have a child. Like, yeah, it seems it seems inconsistent. Yeah, he's letting all the bros down. Uh, so <laughs> uh, with this. Uh, when this came out, like there are like twenty, like left wing shows that that I I I sub- you know follow that like at least to see the tweets and you know that the titles of videos and stuff that that came out with videos dunking on this. You can see why, right? It's a again he's t- he's taking a bad position, and even if he's being a little playful about it at the end, like it's like. Look, if that's your best defense, right? You know that this isn't Europe. Like clearly, you've 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 taken a really bad position. Um, but so so I can understand why. But I also found it really interesting. So on that episode of Crystal and Kyle and Friends, I was on over the weekend. Uh, actually, before I came on, I, I watched. I mean, I don't actually especially like watching myself uh, after the fact that I have a. But but I did watch the stuff leading up to to me being on again uh, after. And there was this point where Kyle Kalitsky tells a story about that exact clip. And I found this really interesting. So I'm going to, I'm going to tell a private story now. Okay. And I think people will, will like this story. So it wasn't that long ago, maybe a month or two ago where Joe got in some trouble for, he was in a conversation with, I forget who it was, but he argued Bridget, Bridget Fetisi, maybe it was. Mm, yeah. He yeah. argued against paid paternity leave. Yes. And he did it pretty glibly and he he took he took a stance it was very like this is what i think about this i don't like it right and so you and i saw that clip mm-hmm. i did not agree with him at all so we decided coming in to do this show let's cover that in the intro i want to play that clip and i want to respond to it and what did i do pulled up all the different graphs here's paid time off here's how much other countries get here's how much we get we're at the bottom of the barrel you know, we're like the only developed country that doesn't get paid time off, doesn't get paid maternity leave, doesn't get paid paternity leave, and workers are getting screwed in that sense. I was very clear when we did that segment to lead with, look, Joe Rogan's an honest guy. Joe Rogan's a nice guy. Uh, he's got a lot of views that are left that he never gets credit for. But then whenever he says anything right wing, people always pounce on him. Right. So you lead with that. Then I made the argument. Did you know, Joe, watch that video. And then him and I were texting about it about a week later. And in a very long and detailed text conversation, he said in no uncertain terms, you convinced me. You changed my mind. I didn't know those, the, the stuff that you showed. 
And when I was talking on the podcast, I was just talking to another comedian, sort of talking shit, talking off the cuff. And I said something that now in retrospect, having learned more about it, I was wrong. And in fact, he even supports policies that go way further than that. Yeah. Like I was like, I support a four day work week. And he was like, I do too. It's like, well, that's way more time off than just paid paternity leave. <laughs> you're like cutting down the work week so much when you do the math on how many weeks there are and uh, like all the extra days you're getting off UBI. Yeah. Because there was another thing that we were discussing about unemployment. And he was like, well, what if people are like sort of gaming the system a little bit? This is standard right wing concern. I don't know who we heard it from. Ben Shapiro, Stephen Crowder, somebody like that. Right. right? Crenshaw. And I was like, Joe, I support universal basic income. I want everybody to get like a thousand or two thousand dollars a month. And he's like, I support that, too. So it's like, so you support a policy even to the left of just unemployment. And he's like, yeah, I, I guess I do. And so now the next time paid paternity leave or paid time off comes up, Joe's going to argue in favor of those things. Yeah. That's not possible if he's a dishonest actor, if he's a complete ideologue. And also it, it wouldn't have been possible if you and I didn't believe in the power of persuasion. Yeah. Because I, a lot of people, and by the way, I saw some of the comments on, on our video Mm. Uh, uh, of the Joe Rogan one. A lot of them Same were very one. fair, very, very good. Yeah. But then there were some that were like, look at this. He's going soft on his friend Joe Rogan. Look at him. He won't even do the thing where you're like, what? But not only did what we do work, it worked perfectly. Perfectly. Now, Whereas look, if you come in and, and you're like, this guy's evil and he's bad and let's censor him. Like, how much is some is anyone, Joe Rogan or anyone else, going to listen to you when you're just, like, out to attack their character and destroy them? Yeah. Is it, some people in the in the chat are asking, wait, was Joe Rogan sarcastic from the beginning? And I, I don't think he was. I think he was being really sincere and he's constantly opening up about what he thinks. He's really an open book. Um and I do think that, yeah, it, it, that clip that went around of him talking about myocarditis, this thing with COVID, that clip that went around was showing him like looking at new different ed evidence he hasn't seen before and then making up his mind. And and yeah, you you just don't see that from most people. And definitely, in a, I mean, is anybody doing that on Twitter? Like that barely happens, you know? <laughs> No, exactly. And I, I think that's the, I mean, on the sarcasm issue, I think, yeah, I think in his, like, the bulk of the clip, when he's talking about why he doesn't support paid paternity leave, I that's not sarcastic. I mean, that he read that he's definitely saying what he really needs. When he's sort of flippantly saying, yeah, this is America, baby, like that, okay, sure. He's he's like fucking around a little bit, like at that point in the yeah. clip, you know. But and like, also, he is talking about a case where he's the boss and he would be paying for it. So I think he's like, yeah, I'd support it on a national scale, but not not in my business, you know? Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I, which, you know, I don't know. I, I, I think he... Uh, uh, I think at this point the show's popular enough, you know. I mean, yeah, if, if, he can if, uh, now he can afford it for sure if he's not giving his workers paternity leave. Yeah, he should see shit. That should be the next, the next scandal. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. If, next if, if, week. Yes. <laughs> next week, if if this if the Edward thing starts to die down and we need to do another week of broken discourse, we could move on to that. But yeah, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. The N word could la last a long time. <laughs> that's true. That's true. That's true. Uh, yeah, I don't know. But I think the, the thing you said about like, you don't see a lot of that on Twitter. I mean, it's kind of the point for me because look, are there people who nothing you say or, or do or like will ever, ever convince them? Of course there are, right? There are people mm -hmm. who are like super hardcore ideologues and they're, they're married to their positions and nothing you say is going to change them. Uh, there are people who's like, interests or two like aligned with like bad stuff to listen to anything you have to say right there's no argument you can give joe you know jeff bezos to turn amazon into a worker co-op or something that's not going to happen yeah uh, but like most ordinary people right like they if you have you know like a cousin who's a republican or something right like like it just like applying this model to them right assuming that everybody's like the um everybody's like the most hardcore version of of the the opposition just seems super counterproductive to me and and i don't like i i think that like yeah when you do the twitter thing and essentially you yell at people that they're fascists 
like, I don't know. It doesn't really seem like that brings a lot of people around uh, as far as I can tell. And so it seems like, you know, maybe apologies in advance for, uh, for putting it this way, but like, you know, maybe it's a lot better that like Kyle, you know, gave him an argument. Exactly. Yeah.